Reaper. 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 Reaper's great. Oh, he was great. <laughs> <laughs> They're all so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Tim Curry was fun. Yeah! Um, it's great on subs. But court. But court. We played. But court. Yeah, that was good. Don't dig up my roses. <laughs> Don't dig up my roses. <laughs> There's a blonde woman over here who's going to beat me with a shoe if I want. Deal with that situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah woman in yellow. Stand up. Oh, yeah, yeah, you with the, my heckler. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 please. <laughs> Are you single now? I, I am single. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. 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 Like went away, and I was no. like, "Remember how we went on that date?" We went to a Red Storm game. 
I think, that maybe yeah, gave us the issue. Yeah. I don't know. Spence. I miss those days. I don't yeah. know. Like, at some point, it's navigating a show, you know, there's a lot of things. And one of them is dealing with a big network, which kind of does play it safe, for better or worse. And I, I think maybe someone didn't want uh, inter Tiffy the main character relations, but it makes me more of a pleasure. <laughs> uh, we got a question from a guy who looks like he should be in a band. The guy from the band, yeah. Yeah, you're a guy. Oh, it's you. Oh, that's a lady. That's a woman. You <laughs> said <laughs> So, have you ever been scared or disturbed by any of your episodes? And if so, which one is scared or disturbed you the most? Uh, like all of them. <laughs> P911, yeah. season one, I think, kind of disturbed me. Anything with kids is kind of yeah, disturbed me. Um, season two. Season two. <laughs> Good memory. Oh, wow. There's a whole lot of stuff going on in this room today. <laughs> North Korea. North Korea. North Korea. Was it Canada? Are you into the Canada episode? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Brothers. Ooh, that was disgusting. Good <laughs> stuff, man. Oh, yeah. The shoes. The let, me, shoes. let me tell you, though. What, how, we're on episode five right now, season eight. Uh, like the things we have shot so far this year. Uh, like, just, like, like, I'll say it. Like, Quoting on this, I freaking hate serial killers, man. <laughs> Jerks. Yeah. The moral of the story. Uh, glasses, right here. Thank you. I just listened to the podcast. Oh, with Ricky Lindo. Oh, Ricky Lindo. Oh, thanks. She's wonderful. She's very talented. Um, I was wondering what you were reading right now, if you have time. Oh, do you know what I'm reading right now, actually? This isn't very suitable. <laughs> uh, I'm reading, I, I read things simultaneously. I'm reading a lot of... Are you reading Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> 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 no, I'm reading um, a lot of David Sed I just played David Sedaris. He's a writer. <laughs> so I, I, I'm reading some of his stuff, but I'm simultaneously reading a book by Gavin McGinnis, the guy that founded Vice, who's a Canadian. I don't know if this guy. But he wrote a sort of funny memoir, a Bukowski-esque thing, entitled How, How to Piss in Public. <laughs> yeah. I'll go with Sedaris. Where is Sedaris? Is that what you were reading on the plane? You know, I don't know. I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm interested. Can I am. Pissing in public. I'll look it up. More than that. In my next book. Um, right now... I am, I just finished a book. Fifty Shades, you finished the trilogy. Shh! No, but I'm, active, I'm actively looking for my next read, which will be... This is a book. 11-22-63. I read a lot of Dr. Seuss, not gonna lie. Uh, uh, yeah, I could recite uh, Good Night Moon for you all right now. Um, in a great green room, <laughs> and a red balloon, and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. Anyway. Last sweater right here. Um, really enjoyed the show, and I have actually got into it with my daughter, so it was something we kind of did together. Oh, great. So long as no other family member was around watching it, because I think it was just really disturbed, because my family is very much not into that. Yeah. We are. Um, <laughs> your characters and how you portray them. And going through the roller coaster of emotions that you do go through with all the different uh, interactions between the characters in the show. When it came to the scene, or the episode rather, where Hodge was his wife, um, what was the atmosphere like on the set? Does it become palpable? Like, do you all kind of at the end of the shoot walk around like, I know for us, we literally sat in front of the television with the TV off. There's definitely, there was a sense of grieving for sure, because that was a character that we we got to know and love, and we really liked her, the person as a, you know. Yeah, that was. Uh, that that one was palpable. You could feel that one. For the most part, we um, we. Uh, Try not to uh, 
can go there. <laughs> just because we would do, it would be the like, worst that ever to be on. Like, it's intense. I mean, it's really depressed. Yeah. And it's also, uh, the, the hours on the show are really funny in the sense that it's like 15 hours a day. So the whole crew is operating on this amazing level of adrenaline, madness, and sanity. And like, it's like basically being in the carnival but having a dental plan is what they <laughs> So these like, really emotional episodes. Yeah, a lot. There's a, it's a great variety. Something to like, lighten the mood. Yeah. So you go and have like a peace party, or maybe do a practical joke after. We just laugh a lot. We just yeah. a lot of jokes. We're constantly just making fun of each other and laughing and there trying is, to keep it light. There, there's, there's a woman holding up some sort of doll. <laughs> oh, I wasn't telling you to ask a question. I was just pointing you had a doll. Thank you. I am, yeah. My, my dear friend, I made them with passed away, so it's it sort of, but in his honor. But there's more coming. This, this, uh, yeah. Again, comedy is a very special place in my heart, and I, uh, I, we have a lot of footage. One day I'll re, I'll, we, we had to take hours and hours of footage, and then uh, I plan on editing it someday and putting it out there. But also a lot more comedy stuff coming out soon. I need to watch the lectures. <laughs> oh. Sorry, what was that? Sorry. No, I was just. Uh, oh. <laughs> Let me see, I'm not sure. <laughs> sitting over there, so you can direct this to them. We've, we've decided that in order to increase the amount of time that our guests can spend giving autographs, we're going to we're going to cut this part short. Uh, so we've got about five minutes left, which means about two questions. Oh, jeez, everyone's like, peace out. <laughs> Yeah, 
I have no idea. I've been tweeting at you since like this morning. Oh. Really love you. <laughs> hey, if I could play any other character on the show, I'd want to be one of the unsubs for sure. Oh. <laughs> it's He's a villain. Stuff, but yeah. How about you, Mickey? Oh, an unsub, an unsub for sure. They get to have all the fun on the show. <laughs> but if I had to pick a character, like the main characters, it'd be this guy. It'd be fun to wear cardigans and mismatch socks for day. <laughs> So we are going to, uh, we have one last question. I'm going to let you guys pick who it is, that way I don't get in trouble. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's going to go with the goof face shirt. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but the, the black goof uh, the shirt of mine, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Very easy. It's a wonderful task. The director's job, if you have a good script and a great cast, it's, it makes your life incredibly easy as a director. And they couldn't have been more welcoming or encouraging or helpful, all of them, um, during every episode. And they, they really, their, their encouragement brings tears to my eyes. They're, they're lovely, of course. I love them. And she, she just goes on, oh, he's terrible. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. The exact opposite. It's, I, I always love it when Matthew's directing. Um, He's like, a, he's like a, a kid in a candy store. It's like every day is Halloween, you know? Um, so he's just, there's like so much, like, just like light in his eyes. He's so excited. But there was a really great moment. The very first time you directed, it's like you forgot you were acting. <laughs> and uh, we were, it was round table. And he, we have these little monitors that are like portable. And he wanted, he needed to be in the scene, but he wanted to watch the monitor at the same time. So he has the monitor jammed right here. <laughs> Of course, I have to pass it up. Yeah, pass it up. Okay. On, that, yeah. on that note, we're going to say thank you very much.